Under this road building site is a makeshift learning centre, a straw hut where the children of this impoverished East Delhi neighbourhood come for free classes. University student Satyendra Pal Shakya has been holding these classes for nearly five years. He says the lessons have become even more important since India's government shut schools five months ago to stop the spread of the coronavirus. When online classes started, we noticed many children didn't have the gadgets like laptop, tablets and phones. And even if some had, they didn't have the facility to charge those. Because this area, where about five to 6,000 people live, has no electricity. Around 100 students regularly attend the English, Maths and Science classes taught by Satyendra and six others who are helping him. I really like the classes because I really like the teacher. He teaches us very well. We wouldn't be able to study without these classes and our education would deteriorate, our brain too. Satyendra and the students are from one of the many neighbourhoods in the capital where everyone lives in temporary shacks with little or no access to electricity. Some students have walked half an hour from other neighbourhoods to attend these classes and that's because they are from some of the 92% of Indian homes which don't have internet connections and computers. Some states are doing better than others at bridging the digital divide. The southern state of Kerala has set up temporary classroom for students who can't watch the local government's pre-recorded classes online or on television. These online classes are very easy to understand. And if there's anything we don't understand, then teachers here help and guide us. We like it a lot. Classrooms are open throughout the state, even in remote tribal regions. But Kerala, which has always had one of the best education systems in the country, is an exception. Experts warn that millions of other Indian children are going to be left behind because of the lockdown. We are going to certainly create this digital divide much larger. However, it requires extremely drastic emergency call on the in the name of government and in the name of internet service providers and also in the name of device providers. We need subsidy on device, we need subsidy on connectivity. And he says it shouldn't be up to the kindness of individuals to invest in the future of India's next generation. Elizabeth Puranam, Al Jazeera, New Delhi.